Hello Zany friends, I am Lainey. And I am Marshall. Uh, we're here today for another review. Actually we're doing two books, which we might start doing going forward because uh, we started uh, running out of days to post. <laughs> uh, that's a problem. <laughs> when, when we're reading more than we have days. Uh, that's, that's a big problem. So yeah. uh, we are talking about two different books that we have read. Uh, they're kind of more of a young adult genre of book and that is Hand on the Wall by Maureen Johnson and Aurora Rising. Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. <laughs> uh, so first let's talk about Hand on the Wall. Uh, so basically we are starting kind of a new format when we are reviewing the books. We have some more categories that we are going to be describing what the books are like. Uh, so the first category is the title cover draw and that basically means uh, what did we like about the book that made us read it? Like was it the title of the book or was the cover of the book did they have anything to do with it in this case the n neither of that really had anything to do with it i read it because it was a third in the series of uh of this truly devious series it was the third so i was like i'm going to read it anyway um the cover is quite cool if you'll see it right here uh but it really didn't have anything to do with me reading the book uh what i liked about the book was that it did follow the story and the characters of the first two books very well but it also continued to turn the story on its head from the first and second book so like each book kind of like gives you another little twist about the whole story and who did it uh, what I didn't like about the book, there wasn't a lot I didn't like, but there was some and it was just kind of like that I felt at times it was a little draggy. It, it kind of gives you a point of view between the past and the present of what is happening um, as it stands with the kidnapping of Alice and also a lot of the murders that are happening on this college or this uh, academic campus. Uh, but sometimes it got a little bit like, yeah, we know about that, keep it going. But it didn't do that a lot, so that was fine. Um, and then that was really what kept me reading. I wanted to know how this story really ended. I love the characters as normal. I thought the characters were just such a great uh, complex for young adults, really. Uh, so a lot of times you think it's really foofy, and I don't think that it was very... Uh, shallow in this sense. I think that the characters were deep and you really got to know them and feel for what they were going through on this campus and really root for Stevie who is the main character. So I think in that sense the characters were really great. Uh, as far as the ending goes, I think it was a satisfactory ending. Uh, I am very happy that they're doing a fourth book because they're going to have the same characters, but it's no longer the same storyline. They're going to be at camp. So I'm really excited that we're going to continue this journey with Stevie and her friends because I really loved uh, the characters. And, you know, the ending was plausible. And did I see it coming? Yes and no. There were some really interesting twists in the end of this book that I was like, hmm, okay. So, like, really, when they lead you towards one way on the second book and then you think it's going that way excuse me and then on the third book it like kind of flips you around you're like hmm that's interesting uh you haven't even read the second book yet right no i haven't and that's why she's not giving you a huge amount of details <laughs> uh this is a case where the books that she's She's reviewing a book and I'm reviewing a book, but we haven't read each other's books. No. <laughs> so you're going to get less spoilers than usual. Exactly. So I would say consider if you uh, really like young adult mysteries, this is the book for you. If you like, uh, what, like, mm, not Artemis Fowl. Uh, if you like Percy Jackson, if you like Harry Potter, if you like these young adult you know, going off to school and being with friends and solving mysteries. This is definitely the book for you. But read the first one first. <laughs> it's really dubious. Uh, I ended up giving this book four stars. With Aurora Rising, the, the reason I was reading this book was because of the authors. Uh, we've already gone through the Illuminae files and I really enjoyed those. Mm -hmm. um, but then they came out with this Aurora cycle and I was like, I'm, I'm in. I'm already going to be doing this. But it does have a very pretty cover um, of this girl's face with her face, the shadows of her face blending into a star. It was really cool. And this is a series as well, right? This is a series, the okay. Aurora Cycle. So Aurora Rising is the first one of the trilogy. Mm -hmm. um, I think they are only going with three books in this one, but I don't know. Right. Um, this is the story of this girl who is lost in time. She wakes up 200 years later to find 
that we are now all over the galaxy and humanity is bonding together with aliens and it's a wonderful time except everybody wants to kill her. Uh, so she is given to this ragtag group of uh, soldiers who don't even like each other that much and they're all uh, socially inept um, <laughs> in their own way. Um, so they're all having to try and survive together to figure out why this girl who nobody even knew still lived is suddenly uh, under fire. Mm. Um, so what I liked about this book so much was the same thing of another category, the characters. Uh, each of these characters is very unique and very fun. They all have that um, Amy Kaufman snark and sarcasm going on. In fact, one of the characters, Scarlet, has her own brand called Scarcasm. Um, <laughs> That's funny. It, it's really fun. Um, there are aliens on the crew, but I don't feel like they're unique enough as aliens, mm -hmm. but their characters are good. Right. Like, everything in there is good. Um, the setting of this is more of an optimistic, bright future sci-fi like Star Trek. So that worked both in its favor and against it. Mm. Um, because, because that kind of makes it so that it feels a little boring at times. Mm. Um, and that some people have been complaining about that. Um, but you are going to start getting into those darker areas of this bright future as the story goes on. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, what you're going to... Uh, other things that you might have seen that are like this are game video games, actually, like Halo and Mass Effect that do have some of these storyline elements in them. Um, and those do have their own book series. And, of course, if you like Star Trek... Um, there, there's more books out there than you can trip over. So, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, I ended up giving this book four stars. Excellent. So thank you so much for, uh, watching our little young adult, uh, mystery sci-fi review video. If you like this format, please comment below and let us know. Um, but until next time, stay zany. Bye-bye.